to get you outside of the ball. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're going to talk about you. Do you have the courage? What's up, guys? I hope your day is going along well so far. The crypto space has finally breathed some life, and everything looks quite saucy. We can see a lot of excitement in the markets. Hence, most digital assets have shot up in value over the last week. We have even witnessed some cryptos that have shot up by 250% in the span of a few weeks. We will see more runs like the one Silica just experienced in the coming weeks. Now, you just have to do your research well and identify the different high-quality coins that will hold value in the long term. Guys, don't forget to join in our giveaway. You can check it out in the comment section below for all the requirements. That said, let's roll that intro and then we'll get into all the juicy details of today's video. As always, welcome back to Money Side, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP team. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Before we get into today's video, it's important for everyone in the space to realize the only best way to make it in this space is by having a high risk tolerance. Now, this is something we've mentioned time and time again, but it's important to realize that while 80% of your crypto portfolio may fail, there will always be that one crypto that you put your money in that will ultimately change your life. You need to have massive risk tolerance if you want to survive in this space. Now, in today's video, we're going to be revealing what the future of financial systems hold, and we will start with this proposed bill that would require the stable coins to be backed by dollars, government securities. Remember the whole hubbub about Tether only kind of sort of being backed by the U.S. dollar? Two legislators, Representative Trey Hollingsworth, Indiana Republican in the House, and Senator Bill Haggerty, Tennessee Republican in the upper chamber, have introduced a bill designed to make sure that's never an issue again. Stable coins would have to be completely backed by a combination of U.S. dollars and government securities with maturities less than 12 months under the Stablecoin Transparency Act i.e. bonds. It would also require stablecoin users such as Circle USDC and Tether USDT to produce audited reports confirming their reserves on a regular basis. While the Stablecoin Transparency Act is aimed at protecting consumers, Senator Haggerty claims that it would not place stablecoins in the hands of unaccountable bureaucrats who threaten to choke off innovation, that is, assuming it ever comes up for a vote. Democrats dominate both chambers of Congress, and while there is bipartisan interest in getting cryptocurrency legislation right, the duo will likely need some cross-party support to obtain a committee vote. Moving forward, we have yet more important news. As we can see on Decrypt, the EU Parliament voted to impose KYC on private crypto wallets. They have passed a crackdown on the so-called unhosted cryptocurrency wallets. If we follow up on that, we can see the Econ and LIBE committees voted to approve a proposal that will require cryptocurrency service providers, such as exchanges, to collect personally identifiable information from individuals who transact more than 1,000 euros using so-called unhosted cryptocurrency wallets. Unhosted wallets refer to non-custodial wallets, which do not rely on third parties. Examples of non-custodial wallets include MetaMask, Wallet Connect, or hardware wallets like Ledger and Trezor. The vote follows debate among policymakers and the crypto industry over whether such wallets should be subject to Know Your Customer KYC requirements that would compel companies to provide personal information about wallet users. However, the industry is generally against the measure because non-custodial wallet users aren't necessarily customers. Next, we see some interesting news here that we see the XRP lawyer predicting the SEC will come after crypto exchanges next. The Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC of the United States, has published recommendations for cryptocurrency trading platforms. Platforms were advised to record digital assets held for users on their balance sheets at fair value, according to the guideline. The lawyer for XRP holders in the Ripple versus SEC action, John Deaton, predicted that the SEC will now file lawsuits against exchanges. The SEC has underlined the technological, legal, and regulatory risks associated with preserving crypto assets in its advisory. According to the press release, a report published in October 2020 details the quantity of digital assets stolen from crypto trading platforms 
in 2018. The Commission, on the other hand, claims that these dangers are not new and that its staff has analyzed the financial records of a few organizations. Meanwhile, Deaton, an XRP lawyer, has predicted that one or more lawsuits against crypto exchanges may be filed by the end of the summer. These instructions, according to the Wall Street Journal, mirror Commission Chairman Gary Gensler's warning. He has previously referenced Coinbase and warned that consumers who purchase cryptocurrency on the platform are essentially making unsecured loans to the corporation. The announcement comes in the wake of recent cyber attacks and crypto thefts. Axie Infinity recently lost almost $615 million in a breach, surpassing Poly Network's theft of $611 million in August 2021. Any digital assets owned by investors will be accounted for as an asset by the platforms under the new laws. As we wind down on today's video, we're going to take a look at the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. The crypto investors and everyone else in the crypto space have been for a while now waiting for the verdict on the Ripple vs. SEC case. While the SEC has been insisting that XRP is a security, Ripple counters that XRP is a useful tool for transferring value across borders through Ripple products rather than it is a speculative investment vehicle. Excitement builds as the case drags on because the court's decision could have a material impact on cryptocurrency regulations. Meanwhile, the lawsuit has prevented XRP from taking flight. Some legal experts think the summary judgment will likely focus on the fair notice defense, the fourth affirmative defense. The court's denial of the SEC's motion to strike out that defense seems to favor Ripple and its co-defendants. In her previous court order, Judge Annalisa Torres pointed out what critical factors may weigh in a future summary judgment on the fair notice defense. That said, time to take a look at the technicals. History may repeat itself again. Now look at the red circle XRP broke below the yellow support line before it rose around 100,000% within one year. You can see the orange circles and the blue support trend line. XRP could hit those levels again before shooting up again. Majority are always wrong, but majority of the people are bullish at the moment. But when XRP reaches that white circle, watch how the majority become bearish. That's when the smart investors wake up and go beast mode. I will become mega bullish on XRP when it breaks below. It's not an easy thing to do. Now taking a look at Bitcoin, do not let Bitcoin distract you. It will continue ranging until the altcoins complete their full bullish cycle. Only after this cycle is completed will we see something different. While Bitcoin ranges, the altcoins grow. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. And we continue to pray for the people of Ukraine. Please keep in mind we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. You can let us know what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. Thanks as always for watching. Don't forget to like this video and please click on that subscribe button below. And be sure to turn on notifications that way you don't miss out whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again and we will look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.